in this double displacement reaction, we have iron three sulfate plus potassium hydroxide. And the iron and the potassium, they pretty much change places. It's a double displacement reaction. Let's count the atoms up on each side of the equation, and we'll use a trick to make this a lot easier. And this trick works on most double displacement reactions. So we have two irons, and then SO4, that's the sulfate ion. It stays together in the chemical reaction. We have it here and here. So we can count it as just one item. So I have the one SO4, one sulfate ion, times the three. So I have three of those, one potassium. The hydroxide, it stays together. It's another polyatomic ion. We have one of those. On the product side, we have one Fe, one SO4, two potassium atoms, and three of the hydroxides. Let's fix the ions first and see what that does. So I have two here and one here. Let's put a coefficient of two, one times two. So the ions are balanced. And then the two applies to everything. So I have three hydroxides times two. That gives me six hydroxides. Let's balance the hydroxides next. We could put a six in front of the KOH. So now we have the one hydroxide times the six. So we have six of those. Those are balanced, but we have one times the six. We have six potassium atoms. So we're going to have to put a three in front of the potassium sulfate to balance the potassium. So two times three, that gives us six but we have the one sulfate times the three. That gives us three of those, which balances the sulfates, and we're done. This equation is balanced. So by counting these sulfates as one item, or the hydroxides as one item, that means we don't have to count all of these oxygens, and we can keep track of things a lot easier. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for Fe2SO43 plus KOH. Thanks for watching.